Hello, welcome to this week's edition of the Horror Debate. I'm Michael Mandy. He is Rowdy Jeff. I am? Yes, he oh, is. I am, yes. And, uh, you know, we're almost at the end of summer, Mike. Yes, we are. And and we're getting into that fall kind of horror I've time. Had, I've had enough hot weather. It's time. <laughs> Bring on the fall. <laughs> we're, we're getting there. And, and I started thinking, you know, this is the time of year when I start thinking like real good movies. Because we're talking September, October. That's usually the time for horror movies. Yeah, you know, and I love it when the horror movies are even set. In that time frame, mm-hmm. you know, and it just it adds something to it. It's it's like an authenticity thing yeah, for me. It, you it's know? kind of weird watching a movie like The Thing or Ghost Story where it's all in snow and it's like a hundred degrees outside because right. they released it in the summer. Right. In the summer, I'm not I'm not real worried about it. But this summer, it, it, it we had a few big releases, mm-hmm. and I think we're probably good about to debate the last big release of the summer for oh, 2008. The thing I don't understand though, they they released this the last week of August. Why didn't I not hold on to it for another 6 weeks so it'll be a Halloween type? Well, film. and that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, what movie are we talking about, Rob? Well, we're talking about Mirrors, uh, starring Kiefer Sutherland from 2008. From 2008 just came out. We we took a little road trip to go check this thing out because the commercial was so cool. Yeah. I mean, I, I was watching Amy Smart pull her mouth open, <laughs> and I'm like, I gotta go see that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, when I saw Amy Smart, you know, her, her, her pulling her mouth open was not the <laughs> first thought that came to my mind. <laughs> well, it, it was for me because I knew that was going to be the freaky yeah. scene. Right. You know, that was going to be one of the freaky scenes. But you know what? It's directed by Alexander Asia or Alexandria. I don't know. He's French. Isn't Asia like a Steely Dan album? Yes, it is. See, there you go. Yeah, and uh, Dario Argento's uh, daughter. Too, that's right. Asia. I thought of her when the movie came on because yeah. I saw that name, and for some reason I was Asia, getting it all confused. Asia. Yeah. Asia. Oh. Yeah, Anyways. you know. But anyway, um, uh, he directed the the remake of The Hills Have Eyes. Oh, good for him. Yes, yes. And I actually so, liked that film. Yeah, so. he he his thing is more you know brutal. He also did High Tension. Mm-hmm. You know, so which his, we haven't watched yet. Which we I haven't keep, debated yet. Well, I haven't watched it. <laughs> you <laughs> have okay. watched it. I, I, I haven't, I haven't seen all. it yet. So we got to sit down and watch it together and debate it and debate it right afterwards. So yeah, we watch my, movies on our own and just oh we haven't seen it. So we watch movies before we debate them. Yes, it's not like oh five months ago I saw this movie. Let's debate. Even it. if we I've watched watch it fifteen it. times and I I call Mike and I say hey. You know, let's let's do this movie. So we sit down we and do watch it. it. We watch it again to make yeah. sure it's fresh in our minds yeah. when we kept these things. So what are we dealing Anyways, with, Mike? It's funny because like we were, I was getting on Alexander Asia directs movies that are really dirty and brutal and and real yeah. visceral, and uh, this is more of a suspense kind of film. Yeah, it's more of a mood kind of film, almost yeah. like the others. With Nicole Kidman, you know, in terms of music and mood and mm-hmm. what's happening, and ooh, there's, there's yeah, there's not too many monsters jumping this out at big, you. Going this rah. was a mix up of, of a lot of different influences, I thought, mm-hmm. you know, uh, and, and I thought it was done pretty well overall. But you, you know, breaking down the plot for us, let's let's get into it a little bit here. I okay, well, the plot is um, Kiefer Sutherland is uh, basically he's Jack Bauer in a bad mood. Well, uh, he, who's had his bad day? He got he got he he, he killed suspended, someone, right? Yeah, he's suspended. He's he got killed someone, uh, and he's living on his sister's couch. He's he's got a lot of mental hang Would you live on Amy Smart's couch? <laughs> just 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 talking. Would you live on Amy Smart's couch? Come on. Anyways, <laughs> I'm married. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> that threw you off. I'm sorry. Yes, it did. Yeah, okay. So, anyways, he gets a job as a night watchman, and uh, so he's walking around through this museum, and all these animals come to life when the sun goes down. And oh, wait, that's a different movie. <laughs> Mike, <He's, laughs> Mikey, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm sitting there following you. Don't nod my head. Yeah. All of a I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, <laughs> what are you talking? My kids love that night at the museum. Oh right? yeah, so anyways, yeah, he's walking around this place. This, this is this place. Uh, it was a giant department store that burned down, and so he's a night watchman. And all, why they hire a night watchman? Just to, I don't know, keep kids out or something. But it's well, all it boarded weird. up and locked and that, up. And I didn't get that because the whole front end of it was like blocked, blocked off. and chained up. You yeah. know, so I'm like, why do they need dude to sit in the trailer to protect the burned building? Right, where there's nothing of value in it yeah. anymore. Well, but they the did say they did say it was under it was still under uh, a lawsuit. Insurance. Yeah, lawsuit. an insurance lawsuit. So, yeah. so maybe that's why. Yeah. And they said he's got to patrol the grounds every hour. Right. 
But I do it every three hours, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so he's, he goes out to get another job to support himself. He's trying yeah. to get back on his feet. He's hoping to get his job with the force back. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. And, and what happens? He's sitting in there, and, and, and crazy stuff starts Strange to go down. Strange things start happening. Right? Mirrors start, like, moving, like uh, ripple effects yeah. and, and handprints mm-hmm. and all kinds of interesting things, right? And meanwhile, of course, you've got to have the part where, you know, he's separated from his wife and his kids. And yeah. Of course, she's all nasty and mean. Well, you know. sort of. Well, you, you could kind of understand where she was coming from. Yeah, a lot but he's, of it. she's a, you can't come over here. And he's yeah. like, well, you should. Well, that you know, was wrong. Yeah, you you need to call before you come over. And he says, you don't answer my calls. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but right. I'm still right and you're still wrong. Right. You know, right. wife stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so he, he starts doing this thing, and, 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 and he's going nuts. He thinks yeah. he's going nuts. His wife thinks he's going nuts. Yep. They're separated, right? But, yep. but uh, uh, you know, she thinks it's the medication he's on to stop to stop drinking, mm-hmm. you know? And uh, obviously it's not, And uh, but he can't obviously convince anybody to that, believe, you know, I mean, who's going to believe this, right? right. So. But the way the movie opened, I thought was really cool, you know, and I don't want to give like a whole bunch of spoilers because I'm bad at spoiler alerts here, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, this is a film you really can't give can't away without You can't talk about a lot of it. it. You're going to give away a lot of it. I will say this, the way the film opened with that opening sequence was extremely effective. I, I liked that. Got you into the mood right away. The guy in mm-hmm. the, you know. In the, in the subway, the subway running. Yeah, running yeah. And Got you yeah. right into it right oh. away. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I liked that. Um, then it slowed down some. Well, they had to introduce the characters. Well, and everything. well, I mean, even after that a little bit, you know, I was starting to feel myself like, oh, man, it's getting comfortable in here. I could not off right now. <laughs> you know, that kind of deal. Yeah. I don't know. This movie kept me going up until the middle part when he finally realized I'm the only one who's going to believe me, so yeah. I've got to do some detective work. Right. And while he's doing the detective work, that's when I thought the movie started to, to, to slow, slow down, down a bit. some. Yeah, mm-hmm. we, we lost a little momentum there. But, but they, they made up for the momentum up. back at the end. Yeah, it picked it back up. Um, I, I do have to say, I thought the story was pretty well crafted. The acting was solid, pretty much from Kiefer. Mm-hmm. He's a solid guy anyway. Yeah, you know, it's really nice to see some bigger name actors... In horror movies again, because, you know, back in the old days, in the 40s and 50s and stuff, you used to have big name actors sure. make horror movies. Yeah. Horror films were a viable uh, form of entertainment. Right. And in the 60s and 70s, it seemed to be more, no, we've got to have all unknowns. So i got to ask you so, this. So Mike. it was nice, you know, like with the uh, the film we saw, um, um, what's her name? The Strangers. Yeah. With uh, uh, Liv. Liv Tyler, yeah. L- L- Liv. 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call her. Yeah. I'm going to call her. I, I'm telling you, yeah, I got connections. Y- you're gonna hate me when uh, you find out I'm right. Oh god. Okay, go so ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, anyways, um, what were we talking about again? <laughs> I just got lost. I'm thinking about Leave Tyler now. Uh, see? Yeah. Between Amy Smart and Leave or Live or yeah, Lived exactly. or whatever Tyler, mm-hmm. uh, you, you can't even talk about this movie yeah. anymore. Well, man. anyway, so uh, the movie. Uh, no, it was viable yeah. entertainment. You yes, were saying it was, it was viable. My entertainment. only thing was when they this movie is is creepy and weird and everything and everything's fine, but then they have to give you a reason, and no matter what they're gonna do, the reason you're gonna go no. Yeah. And so it's a no-win yeah. situation. Well, you know, and sometimes these kind of movies can go badly. And I was afraid mm-hmm. of the cheese factor, to be honest with you, in this film. Because when as soon as I saw the mirrors start to ripple and the hand prints and all this going mm-hmm. on, I'm like, man, this, this could turn into like a revamped version of The Haunting real quick and in a hurry. Uh-huh. You know, I was getting that vibe from the whole, like, you know, department store thing. But luckily it didn't mm-hmm. go there. You know, isn't it amazing? This department store burned down, and yet there was no fire Structurally, there anyway. was, was fine. There was no damage, no water damage, no fire. <laughs> Everything was just... Dirty. Yeah. It just looked like it, they just abandoned it for 10 years. Right. And it's like all the mannequins were standing. They were creepy mannequins. They too. were creepy. I was expecting one to like pit Move. Slap yeah. yeah. Ah! Exactly. You know, when he walked by, but he didn't. But yeah, even the plastic ferns and the fake yeah. plants weren't heat damaged or right. nothing. It's like, right. you know, I was going, wow, this is a cool set and this is yeah. a cool visual and everything. But uh, yeah. Well, uh, it didn't look like it was burned down. Well, here's the deal, you know. But uh, it was kind of creepy seeing that burned out lady the, in the, oh, the, the mirror. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So. I, you know what? This movie had a lot of effective visuals to it. The yeah. visuals were done pretty yep. well. Um, what about, I, I can't even go any further until I talk about the Amy Smart kill. <laughs> I, I can't. That's you a, see that in the preview. It's so on my mind right yeah, now because was that cool? I mean, I, I don't know, know if cool is the word. It was cool for me. Yeah. You know, but oh my goodness, man. It kind of went a little too far. No! 
I thought yeah. I, you, uh, you got to take that the concept because we've yeah. seen it before. Yeah, we've seen Jaws. You know, <laughs> not the movie. <laughs> But you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. We've seen like that in in the ring and, and stuff like and that. And Itchy where, the Killer. I oh, love that movie. Oh, Itchy and Scratchy. Itchy. No, Itchy the Killer. Oh, Itchy the Okay. So, but y- she... she. I, I highly mean, recommend... You kind of know what she did. If, if you saw the commercial, you, you know, know what she did. Happen. She does, right? Or the preview. Well, yeah, you ain't seen preview. a half of it. Yeah, because they keep going further. Woo! She just opens herself yeah. like, woo, like a yeah. can opener. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that was kind of cool. There, you, Okay, there you go. That's the t- the tagline that they should use to sell this movie. Amy Smart opens herself up like a can opener. <laughs> right there, everyone's going to go, woo, oh, yeah, I got to go see s- this. I got to see that one. Yeah, you know. Um, <laughs> did, you, did you love the detective when he showed up and he was looking uh-huh. at her body, right? He's pulling her hair back and kind of uh-huh. looking. And he gets all freaked out because, you know. Oh, well, yeah, I, I would too. Well, I love that. Yeah. I love yeah. that. I put himself. I put myself mm-hmm. in his shoes. You mm-hmm. know, going. Ooh, I wouldn't want to touch that. Yep. You know. All right. So, how many stars, Jeff? Well, I'm not done yet. Oh, I thought no, we're not were. done yet. I thought you know? we were. We got it. We got to wax poetic a little bit more on this thing. You know. Wax uh, on. <laughs> wax on. Wax off. Let me. Let me tell you this. Let tell me tell me. you this. Um, for a a Hollywood horror film, big budget too. Big budget. Big actors. Okay. Well, big actor. Yeah. Well, by the way. Well, by the way, he was one of the producers. That's why he did this film. Okay, but 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 by the way, is, is that Holly Berry's sister or something that did like his his wife? <laughs> I, I mean, she, I she, she I got hair, Holly Berry written all over her. Paula Patton. Paula? Well, I guess not, huh? Uh, no, well, but I don't but know. wow, did she look like Holly Berry? A little bit. Oh, yeah, a lot. Like, yeah, a lot. I was like sitting there going, "Whoa, is that?" I can't believe that, mm-hmm. but. You know, um, for like I said, for, or like I was gonna say, for a big budget uh, yeah. summer horror, thirty-five film, million bucks went into this. I movie. gotta say, you know, like I said, these things can go really wrong. They can end up with a lot of cheese factor. I thought at the very, very end, it kind of started to go a little a awry. Little, yeah. Okay. They pushed it a little too far. But then. There's a twist ending that uh, literally M. Night Shyamalan <laughs> should should take note. This is how a twist ending is supposed to be. Yeah, that throws you and catches you. Because I even looked at you and said, right. "Oh my God, how could this happen?" Right. And all of a sudden, whap, the twist happened, yeah. and I went, "Ooh." But what I'm talking about is like the That's part right twist. before that, uh-huh. you know, where he's battling the the demon, basically, and what's going on the, here. The big climactic action. That scene. was bad. Yeah. And I didn't think that belonged. I mean, if they would have taken that whole section out uh-huh. and just kind of ended it on the note right before that uh-huh. which I'm trying to skirt around the issue but yeah. you know what I mean yeah, th- and then gone to that, that the mm-hmm. next scene you know the ending yes, scene yes exactly I know what you we mean we could have eliminated all of that and it wouldn't have mattered yeah. It would have been a better film is, for it. And the thing is, the camera movement was so quick in action, you couldn't really see what the you heck he was doing. You couldn't see the thing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know about yeah, that. That was, yeah, that could have been excised and yep. uh, saved a lot of money on the special effects, and yeah. it wouldn't have affected the movie. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm waiting to see what they come up with, like on an uncut version of this. You know, I mean, what is there? Like, is there going to be more stuff in the middle? You know, or is there going to be actually more like cool stuff? Yeah. You know, because the middle part, Mike, I, I got to tell you, it dipped it, down it for did me. Dip down. It dipped down yeah. for me. How many stars, bit. Jeff? I, I liked it. I, I wasn't. I wasn't terribly disappointed. I was actually hoping for a little bit more. Mm-hmm. You know, when you see Kiefer Sutherland, Amy Smart, and the, and they were they were billing this as the horror event of the year or the summer. I think is yeah. what it said. The horror event of the summer. Well, what other horror films were released in the summer well, besides the the Leaf Tyler film? Yeah. Well, that was <laughs> that was really that was good. Really that cool. was enough for me, Mike. You know, yeah. that was excellent. Mm-hmm. Uh, this didn't live up to that, um, but um, I'm going to give this one three. Yeah. I'm going to give this one three. Um, acting wise, I thought, you know, it was pretty solid. It, it looked good. It sounded yeah. good. It was freaky. Yeah. There were some legitimately freaky things going mm-hmm. on in there. Yeah, it was. the mood was great. It's, it's very just creepy. Like, it is it's a just like the, like the scene with the fire. You know, the fire was bad. Yeah. For $35 million, I need better fire. Well, not only that, a policeman, when he catches on fire, aren't they just supposed to stop, drop, and roll? He didn't roll. He just stopped, dropped, and cried. But, sus- <laughs> <laughs> but suspended policemen, they don't do that. Oh, okay. They forget everything as soon as they're suspended. <laughs> but know? he remembered where his gun was when he's shooting the mirror. Yeah. Bam, and bam, now, bam. And, and you know what you got me doing now, by the way? I I'm just got to say this. This is Counting. your fault. Counting freaking bullets. You know, because like, you know, if you got a gun that holds like six shots, you know. Isn't that amazing? A person can drag a mirror out into the front yard of suburbia and and, and he can just shoot a mirror. And nobody comes out. Nobody cares. Nobody comes out of their house. What was that, Oakland? 
<laughs> you know, what are we talking here, Mike? I mean, it's Nobody crazy. Cared, so. You know, right. so it, it's a three-star film, yes. and I don't think most people are going to be that disappointed. And I was uh, maybe just a little bit. I was expecting just a little bit more out of it. But overall, I got what I paid for, and, and I think it's right along, you know, yeah. three stars. It, it starts out really good, and then it's starting to dip down, and then it goes into the ridiculous. Kind of comes almost like the, the remake of The Haunting. Well, you know, see, that's what out. I said. There's a yeah. parallel here. Yeah. I felt that parallel big time yeah. while watching the film. Yeah. Yeah. So All right. Three stars. You got it. It would have been four, but I'm taking one. And well, yeah. Why are you taking one away? Well, why? Seriously. Because, because the ending, the, the it was... You didn't like that part either. Right. Right. No, I would no, have taken it, that completely out of the film and, and just... You know what? You didn't have to put anything else in there. Like I said, just yeah. remove that whole battle section and yeah. you're good. Yeah. It's a three-star film. I mean, I walked away. I liked that twist ending. It was like, ooh, okay. Mm-hmm. You know? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I walked out of the movie. All right. You know what yeah. sucks, though? <laughs> is when you're sitting there at the end, right? And they're playing the, the classical music, the, whoa, the real swingy kind of classical music. You know the movie's going to go black. I know exactly how it's going to end. Uh-huh. Right? I got it in my mind already. I'm like, okay, on this beat, I know that the screen is going to go oh, black. black. <laughs> and I hate that when yeah. I know that, you know? And I was absolutely on the and money then, on and this. And then one. the credits roll. The credits roll. Yeah. All right. I'm Michael Manny. He's Rowdy Jeff. We'll talk to you next week at the Horror Debate.